13 years ago, this monster PC here, a HP Z420 workstation, cost a whopping $2,700, exactly the way it looks. Fast forward to today, 2024, you can pretty much get this machine, depending on the configuration though, about uh, 250 euros, $300, $250 on eBay, easy, depending on the configuration. This particular one here has 32 gigabytes of RAM, it has got a one terabyte of HDD. This was in the time where the HDD was pretty much trendy, but right now, today, this is not the case. SSD is the way to go, and this machine, we're definitely gonna open it up and see what's inside, see how beautiful it was built, and this is one machine that still can stand the test of time today. It's got a whooping 600 watts power supply. This is actually adequate enough for whatever you wanna do with this machine. I'm gonna throw in a quadro graphic card here. This power supply here is adequately prepared to handle it. It was one of the machines that were made with one thing in mind, which is readability. Fast water today is getting more and more difficult to get machines that are built for the future. This particular machine here, just built for the future in my opinion, you see, you can almost certainly upgrade every part of this machine. You can upgrade the processor, you can upgrade the hard drive, you can even upgrade the RAM depending on your needs. These are machines that are actually built with the future in mind. Today, it's increasingly more difficult to get these kind of machines, machines that are built with upgradability in mind. We're gonna be opening this machine up. It's pretty much surprising that a 13 year old machine can still be in a very, very good condition like this. In front of this machine, you'll find two USB 3.0 ports. We've got a USB 2.0 port right there, as well as a Firewire port right here. We've also got headphone and the microphone jack. The beautiful thing about this particular one is that we've got a card reader in front of it. You see, this is not something that you get all the time. If you are lucky, you get a model with a card reader in front of it. But majority of the models you find online, especially on eBay, will be without the card reader. Front of it, we've also got a DVD writer, right? And then taking a look at the back of the PC, we've got a super powerful power supply here. It's 600 watts. This is super powerful. And then we've got two ports right here for those of you that are pretty much still into PS2. We've got additional USB 2.0 port right here, as well as additional USB 3.0 port right here. And then we've got the LAN port right here, audio jacks right there behind. And interestingly, this particular model also has a graphic card. We're going to be opening this PC pretty soon to see what is exactly inside. Because this PC is not going to be used in 2013, it's going to be used today, 2024. I'm going to make sure that the hard drive is upgraded as soon as possible to an SSD. And given that the hard drive in this case is a one terabyte HDD, like I said, this was pretty much premium back in the days, but today this is going to be a major bottleneck for this PC. So I'm going to be taking a one terabyte SSD and slotting it onto this PC just to give it a boost of life. And believe me, this PC, the way it looks, can still work for another 13 years with absolutely no problem. Another thing about this kind of PCs that were made back in the days where they were so heavy, this particular one is so heavy that I can literally not turn it around with my hands. I had to get a turntable just to make sure that I'm able to get a 360 degree view of this computer. But then the fact that these computers were so built to be so sturdy, to be so robust, goes a long way to show that these were computers that were built with quality in mind. These days, it's pretty much difficult to get workstations like this, so sturdily built with solid materials. You get workstations like this with better configurations, but then when you try to raise it off, this, they, they look so lightweight that you can easily tell that those that were made back in the days were built with more quality materials. And behind it also, we've got an additional firewire port right here. I'm just gonna grab this monster PC now and try to flip it over in this way we are able to see what exactly we are up against. To open it, all you simply have to do is to read this lever here. This is typical of the HP pieces and take it out like that. Wow, this thing is massive. If you look at it, it's all dusted out. Perhaps it has been in operation for a very, very long time. Like I said, there's a graphic card right there. It's an NVIDIA Quadro K2200 graphic card. Not bad, it's got uh, two display ports behind as well as a DVI port right here. So the first thing I have to do is just to make sure that I clean this PC. There's a lot of dusty line inside. This is the first thing I pretty much want to do each time I open a PC like this. Beautiful, take a look at the inside, everything looking exactly the way it was when this machine was first made, all right? And right here, these are the RAM sticks. If you look at it, 
Uh, it's kind of difficult to take this out, but I will try to take it out so you can actually see. Okay, to pull that out, there is actually a knob here that you need to push in to be able to get access to the RAM compartment, which is just gently pull that out. Right there are eight gigabytes each. Right here are four gigabytes each of uh, DDR3 RAMs, giving us a total of 32 gigabytes DDR3 RAM on this workstation. This is massive, so to take that back, I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this cover right there. If you are going to buy this PC, just do make sure that the PC comes actually with this cover and so that goes right there. And on the other side, there is also a cover here that actually covers the RAM stick. So if you want to really give this PC a thorough clean, you definitely have to take out this uh, cover right here to be able to get access to the inside of the PC. But the way it looks, the PC looks surprisingly clean and there's really no need for me to begin to do any deep clean inside this PC, okay? This PC comes with a one terabyte of uh, HDD. That's it, it's a Western Digital 7200 RPM Western Digital 1 terabyte HDD drive. This is beautiful, like I said, long time ago. This was pretty much the way to go, but today the SSDs are becoming increasingly cheaper by the day. If you have this kind of workstation, I see no reason why you should still continue to run uh, a HDD on this machine. The beautiful thing is that on this particular PC, we've got an extra adapter. This is something that is kind of uh, new. Each time I worked on this PC, I never ever got an adapter, but interestingly, we've got an adapter for the SSD drive. So it's gonna make installation very, very easy for us. So I've got right here Fanzian S101 SSD. It's a one terabyte SSD. This one SSD I've used for pretty much a long time. Never ever had uh, problems with this SSD. And it's an SSD I can highly recommend. This video is not sponsored in any way, but given that I have used this SSD myself, if you're looking for a reliable SSD, please do consider the Fanzian SSD. I'm going to also leave a link in the description below where you can actually uh, get one of these. So with this small thing here, with this SSD, I'm actually going to breathe a new life to this um, workstation, all right? So this is also new to me. I'm not so sure how this is going to come out, but uh, I want to imagine that, okay, you're going to take it out right here. If you look, you can easily get access to the 2.5 inch SSD holder there. So I'm going to pull it out and place the SSD right here, okay? And then I'm just going to slot it back right in. This is so much convenient than if you were to install this SSD on this PC without an adapter like this. You see, even though this PC overall looks very clean, it's kind of looking dusty. So at some point after this video, I'm definitely going to clean it all up to make sure it's in the best uh, condition that it can possibly be. So as soon as you've slot that in, it's going to look like this. And in this case, I can actually place it back to where it should be, which is and then go ahead to put in my SATA as well as the power cable. The beautiful thing about this PC is that it's also got an additional compartment for another hard drive, a 3.5 inch hard drive. If you decide to still slot in a hard drive here, you will still have a possibility to do so. This is just beautiful. Although most of the workstations that you tend to find right now in the market will definitely give you an opportunity for an NVMe SSD. An example would be the HP uh, Z240 workstation. This gives you additional uh, NVMe slot for you to be able to install an NVMe SSD right there. You have the possibility to upgrade the, the graphic card. If you want to turn this to a gaming PC, there are varieties of graphic cards that you can actually slap in here because first of all, you've got the additional uh, six pin plugs right there. And then the power supply is pretty much robust. As well as you also have a lot of space to play around with your graphic card. See, this is a beautiful PC. It doesn't matter. We are in 2024 right now, but this PC is a PC that can still very much stand the test of time. It's interesting to know that a 
long time ago, this was a very, very expensive PC. But luckily for us, the used market is making it very possible for us to actually get a lot of used and decent hardware. Hardware that can still stand the test of time. Hardware that are not in any way comparable in terms of the quality of materials used in building them. Yes, in terms of processor power, in terms of the RAM, in terms of... Uh, graphic card you can pretty much get better workstations right now but it's also interesting to know that many years ago this was the kind of the standard and the hp z240 was one workstation to reckon with a long time ago i hope this video has helped you to see this pc that was once very very premium a long time ago see how it has been kept so beautiful even up to this time and even help you to make a decision perhaps you are right now in the market looking for a workstation you can actually take a look at the hp z420 workstation perhaps it might be something for you if the video helps you do me a favor click on the like button be subscribed to the channel and until i see you again peace